Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. I am showing you a custom junk journal made for a 10 year old little girl. Her mother asked me to use the Unicorn Magic Digital Kit by Calico Collage. I did make it a little bit different than the one she saw on my website, but similar because it is using the same kit. I did make it a Midori style journal. I have a two and a quarter inch wide spine here. And this is an image from the Calico Collage uh, digital download. I've added her name on the front cover. And then on the inside, I've got three journal inserts that have 10 pages each. I even made a little shaker card and it's got a fold out so it could be placed over the edge of a card she could, or page. She could give it away. She could use it uh, however she wants, but it's right there. This is the first journal insert that will come out. Like I said, it's a Midori style, so it has an elastic band, so it'll come out. And then let me just kind of flip through the pages. I love the beautiful colors that are in this kit. Her no, Norella's kit is normally made for a 5x7 journal. I went in and cropped the photos and then told it to print as an 85 by 11 It kind of cropped some of it off, but for the most part it looks pretty good. I used some rubber stamps and some stencils in this as well. I love the little add-on kit that Norella has recently made. So if you're looking for more unicorn items, do check out her shop. I'll have a link in the description box for all the items that I use. This is a star stenciled and I used some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I used a combination of the So Artsy and the Punked Out Steam Tattered Angels that I have in my shop and some washi tape here. And these were just some stamps that I had in my, sh in my stash. I think this unicorn may be an old, old, old Stampin' Up stamp. And this is a Beeline Designs. I used the Distressed Edges, or Textured Edges. I always call it Distressed textured edges all the way around and I have a tutorial coming showing how I made this page. This is another digital download that Norella offers and I put some sparkly glitter paper behind it. Love using a little bit of my washi tape stash. This is another unicorn uh, download that Norella offers as well. Another page from the kit. This is a new digital download by Norella. And then I took some pages they accidentally printed wrong. So I just trimmed them down and made them into journaling cards by backing them onto a piece of cardstock. This was a great journal for me to make because I was able to use up a whole package of this purple paper that I've had for a long time. So I only have a small piece. Well, I guess it's small. It's, you know, about 8 by 12 inches left that I'm going to find something to do with it. I use some scrapbook paper here and again more of that purple paper and this is another digital download by Norella and I just liked the variety that we have in this journal by using all the different kits and then rubber stamping and stenciling. I made an altered paper clip and added another little journal card behind that. She will uh, Love this because this is a scratch and sniff uh, washi tape. It smells like bubble gum. It's, it's kind of interesting. Yep, you can still smell it. <laughs> this was a dictionary page that I added all these elements on as well as a fussy cut stamped image. I think that was uh, Mama Elephant and this is Lawn Fawn over here. And I did add a little bit of glitter. You may not be able to see it, but there's a little bit of glitter on there. And another digital download by Calico Collage. It was fun making this journal knowing that this young lady is going to have it. And I'm hoping that she will enjoy this journal because she can take the journal inserts out. She could put a different journal insert if she wants in it. Maybe she wants to have some friends uh, write some things to her. So she'll have all this ephemera too that she can take out. Maybe she wants to give it away to a friend or write a little note that she is thinking about them. In the centers, I use a couple of the digital kit downloads, the one inch butterflies and then the one inch little do uh, unicorns. I even made a little tag in here. It's a fun kit. If you're a unicorn lover, it's a lot of fun to play with this kit. The three signatures are pretty much the same layout using the same style of papers. I 
find that it's easier for me if I kind of come up with a couple of designs and if I'm making a three signature journal, in this case, three journal inserts, I'll just repeat the pages and it goes a little bit faster for me. I can spend a little bit more time maybe embellishing a page or something. So that's the first one. And then basically here's the second one. I'm just going to quickly flip through it just so you can see some of the calico collage images that are in here. And I had a lot of fun using the unicorn stencil that I have in my shop now. Isn't that beautiful? Pretty, pretty papers. I hope that she enjoys using this. I hope her mom is very happy with the journal as well. Well, if you have any questions about making a junk journal, do know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. I usually show people how to make a journal live during that live stream. It's perfect for you to ask questions and follow along if you like. Maybe it's a little bit entertaining. I always have prizes and giveaways throughout the live stream. I also go live on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, and that is a mixed media day. So I will do things like make this mixed media pocket and show you how to make those pages and elements with your paints and rubber stamps and stencils and whatnot. Colorful pages. Again, I hope she enjoys this. I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing a quick flip through of a unicorn junk journal. It was my pleasure to make this because I really like this kit and I've been wanting to make another unicorn journal, but I hadn't had time. And this lady said, oh, her birthday's coming up. I want a journal for her. And I was like, well, this is perfect timing for me so I could sit down and make it for her. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here today. If you will give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends, I would greatly appreciate it. And have a fabulous day, everybody. Bye.